everyone, welcome back to my channel on the mauve. My name is Faye Marie. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing one of the foundations that I've been waiting so long to get my hands on, and that's the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Um, I finally got this from Sephora.com. This is the second time they've restocked. I wasn't able to get it the first time that the foundation launched, but I was finally able to get my hands on it, and I'm so excited. I did a lot of um, research online, especially on YouTube, trying to figure out what shade I would be just because I knew that I would ultimately be getting the product online just because it sells out so quickly in stores. I was between the shades Butter Pecan and Amoretti I believe. Um, again I went on YouTube and I thought that Butter Pecan was the best shade for me. Um, additionally from doing research on YouTube Huda Beauty did put out a chart out there for you to kind of compare yourself to other foundations that you might use already. Some of the other foundations are the um, Too Faced Born This Way as well as the Fenty Beauty um, foundation so I was able to easily find which shade I would be. Um, going into the actual product it smells amazing um, and it's very thick. It is full coverage. Um, I did think that it dried a little quickly on the skin so you definitely have to blend really quickly right away um, and I would recommend using some kind of um, elixir or oil or more oil-based primer just so it doesn't dry out your skin. Other than that, I love the um, coverage and I felt like I had to use less concealer with the foundation. So if you are thinking about getting it, go ahead and get it before it sells out again. Um, I also did a really pretty mauve and rosy tutorial using primarily Huda Beauty um, product. So if you like this look, make sure to keep on watching so you can recreate it at home. And as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to start off by taking my NYX First Base Primer Spray and I'm going to just spray this all over my face. Now I'm going to take my Forsali Rose Gold Elixir. Next I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the shade Butter Pecan 330N. This is the first time I'm using this foundation so you're going to get an honest review um, about how I feel about it. So I have heard that it's very concentrated and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to start off small um, and then if I need more, I'm just going to gradually add on. So I'm going to take a couple drops and put it on my face, blend that. And if I feel like I need more, I'm just going to add gradually. So this is typically what I would put on with any foundation. And let's see what this does. Taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Light. I'm going to go in under my um, eyes as well as my chin and any areas that I want to cover up. Using the Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder, I'm just going to set my concealer. I'm going to use this Tarte Dual Ended Brush just to buff that away. For powder foundation today, I'm going to use um, one of my favorites, the Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation in the shade Medium 54. For contour today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit, and I am the shade Light to Medium. Taking the shades Vanilla and Banana, I'm going to take this Tarte Tapered Brush, and I'm just going to apply the product under my eyes. And then using the Kat Von D um, contour brush, I'm going to use the shading side along with the shades Fawn and Java, these two down here, and I'm going to do the contour all over my face. So I'm going to take a little bit of these two shades, mix them together, and then I'm just going to suck my cheeks in and work towards the not work with the natural line of contour on my cheeks and kind of start there. Once I have those lines, I'm just going to blend it all out. Using those same two shades I used on my cheekbones, I'm going to take the shade brush again, shade brush side, and work on my forehead and on my jawline.
again using those same two shades i'm gonna use a dual ended tart brush again and i'm gonna work on the bridge of my nose for my nose contour for blush i'm going to be taking a tart amazonian clay blush in the shade seduce and i'm going to apply this with a mac 116 bl blush brush I'm take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, and Amreezy highlighter and this is the highlighter I've been using a lot lately and I'm going to apply that with a Sephora double ended brush I'm going to use the more tapered pointier end and I'm just going to do this on the apples of my cheeks and work it upward Moving on to my eyebrows, I'm going to take the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 6. I'm going to start off by brushing the hairs upward and applying the product on the bottom of my eyebrows first. Then I'm going to move on to the top and then just blend that all together. Using a bit of concealer, I'm going to take a Sephora eyebrow brush and I'm just going to clean away any excess product. I'm going to set the eyebrow product using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Lastly, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Highbrow and I'm going to highlight the arches of my eyebrows. <laughs> to prime my eyelids today, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to take a small amount on my finger. I'm just going to blend this in. Because this is a Huda Beauty tutorial and review, I decided to use the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I'm going to start off by using one of my favorite cray shades from this palette, which is the Musk. Next, I'm going to take the shade Ode. And use that on the outer corner of my eye. I'm just kind of doing circular motions and blending that out. I'm focusing on the outer corner of the eye here. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be using a Morphe Y20 brush and I'm going to take the shade Ode again and work that into my lower lash line. For the lid, I'm going to take the shade Cashmere and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. For the inner corner and highlight, I'm going to be using the Amreezy highlight and I'm going to be using these, this double-ended um, Urban Decay brush. So I'm going to take the smaller end and work my product into it and then just in small circular motions work the highlight into the corner and the eyebrow I'm going to create a wing using the NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner and this has become one of my favorite liners thus far I'm going to take the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara and work that onto the bottom lashes and a little bit on my top lashes, but not too much because I'm going to use falsies today. Today I'm going to wear the House of Lashes Demure Light. 
On my lips, I'm gonna mix two Huda Beauty liquid matte shades, the Trendsetter and the Trophy Wife. You wanna see my fire tonight? Take your whip, take your whip, take your whip. Lastly for the lips, I'm just gonna slide on a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. To set the whole look, I'm gonna be using the MAC Prep and Prime Setting Spray, and this is in the Rose. So this is the finished look. If you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks guys!